Hey there puppies, your Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play All Star by Smash Mouth. And uh, I'm just going to jump into it right away. i got my chart here on my screen, so I'm going to start playing. And um, of course we're doing this on the acoustic, so it's going to be a little bit different um, than uh, playing it on an electric. So I'm going to start, for those of you that can just watch what I'm doing and, and learn it, then great, you'll be done here in about two or three minutes, learn a new song. For those of you that need more help, stick around and we'll talk about all the particular parts, okay? So it's going to do something like this. It's going to go... to this song. There's a verse and there's a chorus. Um, okay, so let's talk about each part, or let's talk about the chords in particular first, and then we'll talk about each part. Also, for those of you that, um, that don't understand what I'm doing by strumming, or don't know how to play these basic chords, or say you want to get a hold of this chart that I'm looking at right here, um, check out yourguitarsage.com. I've got a great instructional ebook there that's going to help you with this song and the other um, hundreds of songs, well, we're almost up to a hundred now on YouTube, but uh, eventually we'll have thousands of songs on here, hopefully. Um, but um, that ebook will help with that. So check that out, yourguitarsage.com, and um, let's move on here. So um, the chords you're going to need for this are a G, a D, an A minor, and a C. That's for the verse. In the chorus, you're going to need a G, a C, an A major, and an F. And, uh, and in fact, this A chord, the bass player is playing a C sharp, so it's really like a, instead of, it's that guy right there. So some of you are going to have, a, have an issue playing that chord. Others of you are going to be fine with it. So. Um, so I'm giving you this A chord as kind of a substitution. It'll work, okay? So let's um, talk about the verse, and then we'll then we'll talk about the chorus. Okay. So you could play this this song a couple different ways. If we were just doing like um, some. basic rhythm, and if you, of course if you were doing like solo guitar, you know, like just by yourself, or you, you might want to opt for doing something like that instead of the, because that's just a little sparse, you know, um, and when you have a, a bass player and a drummer playing along with you, then it doesn't sound so sparse. Okay, so here is how I want you to think about the chords. This entire song, with the exception of the very last measure of the chorus, are all split bars, okay, and I'll explain that in a minute. First off, the song's in four, so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I ain't shot the stool in the shit. So that's what we say when, when this song's in four, it's counted like that, okay? And uh, specifically for this verse, each chord gets two beats, okay, and it's gonna go like this G. keep repeating that over and over again, okay? So all the verses are the same, and it's just G, D, D minor, C, I hate the sharpest tool in the shed. You can speed it up. Do what I'm doing there is like a 
yet. That's a little much to, if, if you're just starting this rhythm here. But you're going to go one and two and three and four and the. So really the only time you're coming up is on the duh of the beat. And yes, that's pretty technical. The duh of the beat. One and two and the. Three and four and the. Okay, it's really important for you to get your uh, your rhythm, your right hand strumming rhythm in tandem uh, or to get it uh, in sync if you will and to be doing that sort of um, you know, all down beats there except for the duh of the beat. Okay? And so with a chord it's going to sound like this. It's going to take, well, if you remember when you started riding a bike, it didn't come to you either. You had to fall a few times. So, man, you just got to work on this stuff. Don't get discouraged. Just keep working on it. It'll happen. Okay? All right, that's the verse. We need to move on here because we're running out of time. The chorus is going to go like this. Um, again, two beats per chord. It's going to go G, C. So instead of this A, the bass player is doing like So we add that we add that note to the A chord, we got instead of otherwise it'd be like which is not bad, it's just a gives it a little less flavor. Um, so again, G a, or you could say an A with a C sharp in the bass. And so here's a C, here's a C sharp. And so what I do is I take my third finger, put it right there, and still take my first finger and bar strings two, three, and four. I just mute that high E string so I play it like that. So it's like. And if you're playing with a bass player, just go ahead and play the A chord, and he'll be playing that C sharp, hopefully, uh, or she. And, uh, or... Okay, kids, that's it on this tune. If you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can get these lovely uh, videos in your inbox weekly. I don't know how YouTube does it, but. Either way, check that out. And if you haven't already, check out the ebook at yourguitarsage.com and also find out how to get a hold of this chart on that same page. Okay, kids, keep practicing, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.